Uh, hey everyone, um, it's my turn today. Um, thank you for those of you that have been already following us. Welcome to all the newcomers. Um, today I'm just going to kind of offer something that hopefully is a little whimsical and fun. We're kind of calling this the um, wine to water episode. What? I thought it was supposed to be water to wine. <laughs> Um, but um, <laughs> Michael and I are uh, definitely we enjoy our wine and the um, opportunities to partake in um, you know something that may come from different regions, particularly in Central Texas. Yeah. Um, but one of the things that I'm a big supporter of is the idea of recycling as much as possible. Um, so I'm going to introduce you to you today, and I want you to come around this way, Michael. Boss me around. <laughs> Um, so that's, that's normal. Michael and I enjoy um, oftentimes some cava or prosecco, and I want you to take a look at that cork and just kind of look at it. It looks like something out of nature. It looks like a mushroom. Mushrooms. Um, when it comes out. Um, and then, of course, um, you know, we have the regular corks. Um, now, um, the corks that we choose to um, utilize and continue to recycle are always um, corks. Um, that are not the plastic kind. Yeah, real um, corks, right? So what I've done today um, is I have created um, some um, corks is out that, of you, the kava. Is that um, for our fairy gardens? This is for our fairy gardens. Now, of course, they can, you know, be used as um, yard ornamentals and, you know, things like that. It's um, cool. Michael and I have had a fairy garden in the past. Right now, our fairy garden is kind of destroyed. Um, a couple of years ago, when the snow apocalypse came through, um, Michael had built me a beautiful fairy table, and then we'd had some out. Um, outlying fairy gardens um, and stuff just kind of got destroyed with yeah, all the heavy snow for like, it was like, it was like five seven, seven eight days, days of um, like snow in Texas. We're yeah. not used to that. But we're trying to rebuild, so this is kind of one of my starts. That's beautiful. Um, now, I wanted to point out now, I always keep uh, acrylic paints on hand, and um, one of the things with the acrylic paints is um, you will see that some of them in the store. What was I, that? Oh, sorry about the, the beeps. Uh, we had to pause. Um, lasagna. lasagna. Yeah, we're doing a we're doing a video <laughs> on uh, homemade lasagna, <laughs> and the oven was beeping, so we had to kind of stop. So let's continue. Um, but I wanted to point out about uh, the, the the acrylic paints. Cause, so Michael and I have always we've always enjoyed um, you know doing some kind of yard art and you know different things like that. Um, so they do have a difference between what they call yard and garden paint. Um, or just kind of regular acrylic paint. I have to really be honest with you. Um, I don't notice a difference. Um, so one of the other things that I try to do is I do try to do some coating. Um, this Mod Podge works really, really well. Um, I'll also be showing you outdoors because we're going to um, kind of continue some things outdoors for some of the cool. recycle stuff that we do. Um, the water to water. Wine, wine to water. water, sorry. Come on, um, I know we, we, we follow the Bible, um, but it's wine to water this time. <laughs> anyway, but um, so these these mushrooms that I've done today. So cute. Now, what you're going to see, um, I've got a little plastic um, sort of, uh, I got this at the dollar, although the dollar 25 tree know, um, right. store today. Yeah. Um, now, sometimes in the past, I have used toothpicks. However, the toothpicks, they tend to disintegrate, so um, mm. stuff tends to fall over. Um, they're, so they're I kind of switched right? to these because so they kind of wood, decompose. So. so the plastic um, ones. The other product I would say I would recommend is this E6000 stuff. Um, I put that around the base just to kind of keep things solidified. Um, now, the other thing that I do is I used our ice pick from our bar be careful. Um, to be able to kind of um, <laughs> put a hole in there. Now, Michael, actually, on, on some other um, of the projects that you're going to see, um, he's actually kind of drilled holes. But again, if I don't want to wait on him, I use the ice pick. Just make sure, again, that you're being really safe with it. Um, so this is kind of the first intro. Let's so we, so we're using else. the corks from the, the corks wine from and the, wine. the yeah. sparkling wine and the cavas. Yeah that we like to have a drink now and then. Um, and then what else? Is there more? I'm going to show you outside. All right, let's go. All right, we're outside with Miss Rochelle. Hey, hold on a sec real quick. What's the temperature? It's about 81 degrees outside. 
81. It was 101 the other day. The cold front came in and we got rain. All right, back to Miss Rochelle. <laughs> okay, so next part of adding to the recycling um, of uh, wine to water. <laughs> wine to water. <laughs> um, so here's another um, option that we have been introduced to. Um, this actually kind of was a steal from Etsy, um, our sister-in-law, uh, Christine, um, which hopefully you will meet maybe like next week or so, um, introduced us to this. So these are wine corks that come out of some of our wine bottles. Nice. And what we have done is we have taken um, these um, metal skewers, which again, kebabs, dollar, dollar twenty-five tree. Oh yeah, the dollar um, store that the best. we get, and a couple of them, you know, I spray painted. A couple of them we've left neutral. Um, but again, think about the idea of using spray paint that is like really noticeable. So now, a lot of these, what I will do is I will do these um, stakes, particularly with the plants that will die off in the winter. Yeah. Um, so that I don't forget where I planted what. I mean, we have so many plants, right? Right, and, and Michael and I get so excited and that we think, oh, we've got all these bare areas, let's put stuff in there. But if I'm marking it, then I'm yeah. gonna remember, oh, I've got like lantana that's gonna come back up, um, stuff like that. And again, uh, I've chosen colors, you know, some of it's just to like highlight it, make it more um, visible. Again, you can keep it um, clean, particularly if you have like a favorite wine and you just wanna highlight that wine, whatever. Um, these are paint pens. Some of the, the paint pens I will use every once in a while. Sometimes I'll just use the Sharpies. Um, it just kind of depends. The paint pens can like run really thin um, pretty quickly. Let me ask um, you a question, uh -huh. Rochelle. So we have a lot of sun and heat uh -huh. here in Central Texas. Uh, what's gonna stop that from, you know, bleeding or fading away? Great question. Um, actually, the Mod Podge that I introduced you earlier or um, this is a really great product, um, Sun Guard, um, but you can spray all of that. Now you do still have to coat it, whether it be the Mod Podge or this, um, like every, you know, three months or so, just yeah. to make sure. Um, but in general, I have actually found that the, the corks really retain, um, you know, the labeling really well. So it's kind of like a Scotch Guard, right? But for uh, sun, yeah, yeah. instead of moisture. Yeah. Um, so one of the other things I wanted to introduce to you guys, which again includes the wine, wine. bottles, right? Yeah. Um, so um, we were introduced to these years ago, um, the watering globes, right? Um, some of you guys probably may remember these from years ago. Now um, I will tell you honestly, I do not like these. Um, the watering spout is way too thin. As you can see, it becomes very easily clogged with dirt. And in the yeah. end, what I found more times than not um, is that the water drains really quickly because all the, the only filter is dirt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. However, you're shoving it into a small pot. Right. And so it's not watering right. it like over a week or whatever. Our sister in law, Christine, um, which hopefully you'll have the chance to meet, introduced us to these, um, which are called plant nannies. Um, now, again, Google search it. We actually got kind of like a knockoff brand um, off of Amazon, Fair, very affordable. Um, but uh, Google search um, we plant can put nannies, links. and you'll we'll come put up links. with it. Yeah. Um, but these are basically it's terracotta um, play, plants. Play, right? Right, terracottas. Okay. Um, and what happens is the terracotta allows the moisture to leach. Slow. Um, a little bit better than so what when the soil needs it right then it lets it go out right so then what we do we take the wine bottle here we are recycling again um, we fill it up with water and, and in fact I'll fill it up with water and I'll kind of show you where okay. we're gonna take this is this our rainwater collection it is you know rainwater is so much better than the tap water you know the tap water has fluoride chlorine all this stupid stuff so we collect as much as possible. So what is this plant? Uh, so Just this is our curious. lemongrass, one of my favorites. Lemongrass. It's coming back oh, I this love year. it. I was afraid with the snowpocalypse that it wasn't. Snowpocalypse. Um, you so guys, <laughs> let, let, let's talk about the snowpocalypse because they may, we have new subscribers, they may not know. Two years ago here in Texas, we had seven days of a snowstorm. Well, you don't get that in Texas. I'm telling you, it was like 12 inches of snow 
one inch of ice on top of it electricity the grid was shut down i'm sure you guys saw it in the news but we lost a lot of like perennials but it came back right yep okay so this is one of the plants that thank goodness comes back um and usually of course if we don't have extreme weather um uh, lemongrass does really good so this goes in okay. here's the, the the plant mini Here, it I'll goes put, in i'll turn the light okay. on so we can see it goes down in there it goes in there and then here of course is the wine bottle and again you can choose to keep the wine label on or not i just have with this particular bottle and here we go there we go and then what happens is over a, over a week we can have to almost two weeks it will naturally water the plant without you having to continually do um like hose water or anything like that so if we go on vacation we can it's taken care of we can put yeah. all the potted it's plants so much better than those globes cool um one last thing i want to kind of show you again kind right. of like a repurpose of the wine corks okay all right what else we got okay so believe it or not you could actually use corks um kind of as mulch almost mm, we need um mulch now here. you will see that there's a lot of these corks in here that they've expanded so one that shows you it expands because of water content so it's holding water content. It's going to keep everything kind of moist. So, um, so it's going to keep, in essence, the the surface mm -hmm. of the plant shaded mm -hmm. from the hot Texas blistering evil sun. Yep. And of course, <laughs> uh, I mean, again, it looks fun, right? It's and cool. You're recycling stuff. Yeah. And um, in fact, I've also got kind of my chili pecan here. You can see I've got my plant nanny. I've got the canes kind of starting Those are hot. and i've got my you know mulch down there right. um so again just just kind of looking at trying to do the recycle thing and having some joy with you know some of the stuff and um again just experiment have fun yeah no wine to water and we need water here in texas so happy gardening guys and thanks for watching uh miss rochelle always does a good job mm. Yeah, she does. She's a little shy, but hey, guys, like, subscribe, hang out with us. We're having a good time, um, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. God bless.